Hello, Veronica here. I want to talk to you today about aging. Aging is something we're all doing and some of us aren't really excited about it. But it's pretty interesting at this time on the planet when so many people revere youth and this huge proportion of people in our culture is going to show up as older. Very interesting times. On my radio show, Paradigm Shifters, on Tuesday night, I interview some amazing cutting edge people and a lot of them have tidbits and tips for us to use as we're aging so we can age more gracefully and be in our own power. Let's pick Dr. Valerie Hunt. She's kind of a grand dame of aging. She's a, an amazing groundbreaking woman, the scientist that began to teach about subtle energy and the impact it could have on our health and well-being in 1960. Woo, her work wasn't really popular. But she's gone a long way and well up into her 90s. She's done things like publishing books and doing more creative research, some original research. She looks beautiful and she's going strong. She's a good example of what happens if you manage your subtle energy and the influences that come at you in the world. She says if you keep clearing your energy and keeping your energy bright, all the darker fields that come from other people's maybe abuse, negative thinking, dark past, whatever, just slides off you and you can stay younger and freer. Donna Eden is also teaching energy all over the Western world right now. Donna was very, very ill when she was young and they gave up on her that she was going to die young. Well, she's getting up there and she's teaching about how energy can change your life. She's actually done research in some very severely disabled senior residents and uh, worked with, I don't remember uh, how many people, but 90% of the people that she worked with were able to come back to thinking, being, being empowered, leaving their families memories that they could use, finding the power of who they were before they transited. Now maybe they transited, but they weren't out of it anymore. That's pretty exciting. Energy is an amazing tool for rejuvenation, for healing, for the advancement of our mind and our own evolution. Dr. Wayne Topping is a great example of this. He was an expert, a geologist, working with the energy movement on the planet. And he shifted over to kinesiology, which is the energy movement or blocked flows in our body-mind. And he has some amazing tools and tricks for helping you release where your energy is jammed in, helping people rejuvenate over and over again. Check him out, Dr. Wayne Topping. Then we have Linda Sherman, it's a little different. She talks about astrology, which is often the reading of the placement of uh, different universal bodies, but it's also about energy. She's written a couple of books predicting, because her predictions are very excellent. They work with mm, the way the planets are moving, the way astrology is moving, but how it's going to affect our economic systems, our political systems, our food, and so on. Some of her predictions are really dire. And she has a brand new book called Fast Forward. So check her site, soothsayer.com, for what's next and fast forward and learn the kinds of predictions she had. But she always says, too, that you and I can learn to dance with the energy fields that come through the universe and through our planet learn to transform and become a part of making the results different. Judith Kravitz is one of my guests as well. She's an amazing woman. She had throat cancer and how did she deal with it? She breathed it out. She runs a whole system called transformationalbreath.com. Check it out. And she's very clear. She says energy is just perfect, but the breath, the breath that you have and I have when used really well can move your consciousness, can heal you, can release old beliefs, old defenses, even change your posture and your joie de vivre. She said it's a great way to age and to go through any transitions, whether it's birthing or deathing. Check out Judith Kravitz. I spent half a day at one of her workshops last week and it was stunning. I also work with a lot of people on the other side as an intuitive and many of them will come to us and come to various readings and sessions I have because they want to be unhooked with somebody that's been left behind. Something that's incomplete, maybe a pain that was left behind or a, 
a vengeful thing or something, you know, unfinished business. Instead of just doing life after life after life, we're learning that we can actually do energy with someone on the other side. They can be released to be much freer as a spirit and you and I can be released to really enjoy our life more. And as the Rinpoches would say, to get rid of some of the old uh, beliefs that are stuck in our belly area, in our hearts and in our souls. It's very exciting work. But I also notice that on the other side, there are people who are stuck. I've seen, for example, suicides and they're just rolling around, rolling around out there. They think they're dead, you know? And until they awaken and realize that they're actually not dead, they can make some choices and they can move on. And also that there's a lot of support for them. They stay stuck. Even the ones that have just negative beliefs and bitterness, but over and over and over, what we've seen is when we work with them, when we pray for them, when we send them energy and send them light, they also pick up speed and they usually bless the fact that these connections are helping them a lot. So you see the veils are thinner. Energy is a very potent tool. And if you want to live a long and healthy life, clear, 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 move away the leftover stuff from your life and take advantage of this time where there's so much information coming to you to help you brighten up your own energy body. This is Veronica saying, thank you so much for listening.